Hello, uh, I'm Bob Ritala, Professor of Strategy and Innovation at Lut University, Finland. Uh, we brought a paper together with my colleagues Angelos Kostis and Mika Ruokonen titled The Metaverse Flywheel, Creating Value via Prospection, Persistence and Integration ac Across Physical and Virtual Worlds. And the idea for our paper started uh, with the call for papers to the California Management Review on Metaverse. And we all were fascinated about the topic of the Metaverse. And I had together with Angelos previously already published a paper in California Management Review about using of virtual reality in industrial co-creation. And, and we saw that the Metaverse as a very um, prominent and, and exciting idea a couple of years ago, uh, which was both hyped as, you know, being at the same time very pragmatic as we saw a lot of new solutions, new uh, virtual worlds coming up and, and use cases were popping up and major investments were brought forward by many companies. Facebook turned its name also the meta platforms. So we saw that something's happening and, and there is something very interesting in the air. And we wanted to study that, okay, what is the concrete and, and pragmatic business opportunity and benefit for companies with Metaverse. And then we went on to interview 25 different uh, early adopters of different types of Metaverse solutions. And we interviewed a bunch of Metaverse solutions providers. Then we interviewed different users of Metaverse solutions. We interviewed many Metaverse, Metaverse platform and Metaverse engine providers. Uh, we did interview infrastructure, companies, and then we also interviewed consultants and advisors and, and such. And we got a pretty good picture of, of where the metaverse is heading and, and what are the what are its current limitations in, in terms of both technology and, and strategy. So what we concluded from our use cases, and we do uh, provide four specific uh, mini cases in our paper about how metaverse can be used. And, and there are quite many different ways to use it. So to really understand this diversity of, of how Metaverse as, as you know, interconnected virtual worlds that operate in real time and where users can immerse themselves um, and which can also uh, somehow transform between digital and virtual worlds. How can you utilize this type of technology uh, strategically in organizations? So to understand this, we came up with the concept of the Metaverse flywheel. And it has three components, prospection, persistence, and integration. So prospection means the ability to explore and imagine future possibilities in the Metaverse. And, and very concretely, for instance, many, many uh, construction companies and many uh, manufacturing design companies will do this when they, when they develop a virtual model of something that hasn't been yet built. And then users can enter uh, that model and, and interact and, and do redesigns and discuss uh, what's wrong and, and what is right and so on. So this really helps to elaborate about, you know, how the future should be looking like and how is it should be built. And, and in this way, because, you know, the world is 3D, it's also important that um, sometimes our uh, digital interfaces and worlds are also in three dimension and, and interactive. Then we have persistence as the second part of flywheel. And this means the creation and evolution of different uh, virtual spaces and object and identities, which can also be modified. So, you know, obviously continuing the previous example, we need to be able to revisit our, our different spaces and, and plans and designs in the virtual world. And, and we need to be able to save them and we need to be able to enter them uh, in different roles and also to collaborate with other people who have distinct roles. And we might want to identify who these people are. So all the developments that we are, have, have had recently with virtual reality are of course going to this direction. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of virtual worlds out there at the moment that persist in the, in the same way. So, for instance, we see in the Roblox, there are several companies and brands that have uh, built sort of exhibition halls and, and uh, marketing marketing spaces uh, for their for their brands. And, and these places persist and they might change and, and users might, might interact in them with those companies. 
and, and this is obviously just the one example. So of course, opportunities are quite broad. What you can do with virtual worlds where, where different objects and, and surroundings and also identities of, of the users persist. Uh, then the third one is integration. Um, integration for us means bridging experiences and insights between virtual and physical worlds. We are seeing a lot of development at the moment, considering augmented reality, for instance. So, of course, in augmented reality, uh, the physical world and the, and the virtual world, the digital, those are already integrated somehow and, and complementary. But for us, integration also means that uh, what we do in the physical world can appear valuable in the in the virtual world and, and vice versa. And my previous example about uh, planning of construction and, and then replanning it after after it has been built and then, then revisiting those designs, maybe updating them in the real time. All of those type of things uh, will, will um, bring forward the value of, of integration between physical and virtual. Obvious example being, for instance, the digital twins of, of uh, machinery where, where there's a simulated virtual replica of a machine that is running in the in the physical world and then uh, different flaws and errors might be maybe forecasted or or different modifications could be done in real time so obviously uh this is only a scratch to the surface and also the use cases that we bring forward in that in the paper are are limited in their scope but but we believe that the um ideas that we bring forward are, are fairly universal and uh, we believe that other academics and uh, practitioners can learn from what we uh, suggest and, and propose in terms of prospection, persistence and integration as being the uh, key technology affordances for the metaverse. I could, I could close up with an academic note also. So we build up on the uh, theory of technology affordances and also layered modular architecture and, and using those um, foundations, we, we come up with the idea of metaverse affordances, which, which include the three uh, flywheel components that I just mentioned. Uh, please read more from the paper. Uh, I'm very excited to see the paper out and, and hope that people will find it useful. Thank you.